couldn't join us though. He had his own personal side mission. Uh, that really is a shame, but good to see you again too, Bowtie. Yes. Well, perhaps not. Because I come bearing bad news. You know the rest of Torchwood? It's gone. What? Captain Jack looks to check. Great, so now the event is expanded to more forms of time and space. You mean the time event? How did you know that? Well, when I just suddenly appeared here, I scanned around the area and, well, found the presence of it. Now the question is, how do we stop it? Well, we've stopped many things before. There shouldn't be any difference. Yeah, but you're missing one main factor. This is the time event. One wrong move and the entire Earth is done for. We wiped away like sand in the wind. How poetic. But it's true, though. We can't make any mistakes, but the entire Earth, heck, the entire universe, is done for. And how do you suppose we do that? This event is becoming almost unstoppable. Yes, almost unstoppable. But we still can't stop it. Well, if memory serves right, the time once have stopped the time event before, but it meant sacrificing one of them. And you and I are the same, except for the master here. Okay. Well, isn't that just lovely? Are we playing the wed, kill, bang game or something? Who the heck are you? That's the Grim Doctor, one of the other female incarnations of the Doctor. <laughs> the Grim Doctor? And what makes you the Grim Doctor? Whatever have the Blondie? Well, she came from the same world as the Grim Reaper, so it just kind of fit. And if I knew where our blonde female incarnation was, I'd let you know. I see. Okay, now, what are we talking about here? What's going on? It's like there's a massive time event taking place. That's because there is. Well, excuse me. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I said we sacrificed the master here. He's done, he's done nothing but trouble, and this only proves it. Hey, the master came asking for help. That should at least prove he's as concerned about it as we are. Oh, he's concerned about extending his life. Hey, I've had enemies of all sorts, and if there's one thing I wouldn't do, it's kill them all. I know they all probably had bad intentions, and the Master has a pretty long list of all his wrong, but we need to put that aside and fix this. You know she's right. 
all our futures depend on stuff. Well, it will take someone's sacrifice. Hello, doctors, master and human I could care less about. Uh, excuse me, I'm a doctor too. And who are you? Oh, that's right. The last time we met, I was a man. Well, how the times change. I'm the Valued, and this is my new body. You like? Well, that was unexpected. But it's really not the best time. Oh, it couldn't be any better. When else am I going to have three doctors in the same place at one time? Really? You want to take us on? Now! But you keep forgetting. I've always been after your remaining regenerations. And with the three of you here, I get even more than what I expected. Valued Scram, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Oh, you mean the time event? Yes, well, I could care less if the Earth disappears from existence. Doctor, you, Grim, and the Master, you worry about the time event. I'll stay here and take on the Valyard. Alright. Please don't get killed. Just go! Alright, alright. Master Grim, come on. We have a time event to stop. I have a question. What? TARDIS was right there. Why did we choose to run here? Yeah. Yeah, why didn't we just pick the TARDIS? Because, one, we would be using up more time, which would speed up the time Earth has remaining, and two, we could use some exercise every once in a while. Yeah, I'll go with the first answer. I'm not so sure about the second. Yeah, first answer sounds better to me. So where are we exactly? We are at the center of the time event, at the fountain of time. As you can see, it's no longer running. Wait, 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 wait. There's an actual fountain of time? I've never read about that back home at Gallifrey. Yeah, she's not lying. There is a fountain of time, but... I can't believe that it's been on Earth this whole time. There's a perception field around it, so to humans, it looked like any ordinary fountain. No. So what created it? Apparently, it was formed when Omega created time travel. I actually had a recent run with Omega, and we don't have time to converse. We need to fix this now. We should contact the other doctors. Oh, there's more? Yeah, there are. Whew. They just got a lot more interest in. Come in, all doctors. This is, well, the doctor. Doctor, I hope you have some good news that you might want to stand options as well. Hurry, Doctor, I don't have much time left. I don't know if I can withstand much more of this. Ground the fountain of time. We're going to try to restore it so the event will cease to wreak havoc. Well, hurry up. My world's about two minutes from disappearing from time and space completely. No, we've already lost one doctor. Keep at it. I'll do my best to get this going. I'll contact you when we're close to bringing back the fountain. We have to do this now before we lose any other doctors. We have to start this now. Doctor, this will only end with your demise. Bayard, the last thing I bet you do is win. However, there is one thing that's been on my mind. How'd you regenerate into a woman? Well, let's just say I got in with the wrong people. And they were more powerful than I imagined. This body is just what came out from the regeneration. Well, woman or not, I can't let you leave this place alive. <laughs> so confident. Just like your ginger incarnation was the last time I saw you, it'll be my pleasure to take that away from you. Hmm, where have I heard that before? Oh yes, when the Shadow Master said it to me. Valyard, I feel it's time to end this once and for all. <laughs> you think you could stop me? I'm even more powerful than the last time I encountered you. And with this new body, I can do things I never could before. That's a new one. Just sitting around, Doctor. That's no way to stop me. What are these Twilight freaks doing here? Angels? I thought I stopped them. Don't forget, time events messing up time. Something that did happen could be reversed. Great. Hello, Doctor. It's so good to see you again. Trust me, I'm far from happy to see you and your terrible sisters again. How dare you call us terrible? I say we kill them now. Oh, you're not the only one. Very well then. Time to die, Doctor. Oh! <laughs> that sonic technology! He must also be a Time Lord. Look, the other woman has a sonic too. They're all Time Lords. You got that right. 
I really did, I mean, you have to believe me. Excuses! You abandoned us, Doctor! No. Now it's time for you to pay the price. Yeah. With you trapped in your worst segment, I can do what I paid for. Rid you of your regenerations. <laughs> Yeah, what she said. Right. Well, that was helpful. Could have used that earlier, though. Yeah, you were holding out on this. Sorry. But anyway, I found the point where the fountain can restore time. Where is it? Right in front of it. And it took me forever to find you. Never said it would take an eternity to find. Shut it, Grim. Now, how do we receive it? We have to sacrifice something, right? Yeah. Yes, but you also need the power of three Sonics to keep it stable. We'll have seven Sonics all together, so it should be fine. Let me do it. I started this mess all under. No, it should be me. The universe needs you. They need you. I've done a lot of bad things. This will be my way of going Let me do it. Hey, I say if he's willing, let him die for all he's done and thought. As much as it pains me to say it, it's been a pleasure having you as my enemy. Likewise. Right, now we need the bow tie wearing doctor. Right, where is he? The Valiant isn't that hard to take down. Well, to come to think of it, the last time he, or she, and I had a one on one encounter, he was, he's been a lot stronger since then. I'll get him. You stay here and make sure everything goes according to plan. I like his style, quick and to the point. The end has come. Your <coughs> end has come, doctor. <coughs> You're nothing but a disappointment, Doctor. Amy, please! You can't even hold yourself up. How pathetic. You're so weak. No, the failure. She's draining me. Look at me, Doctor. Amy, I know you hate me for something I did. Or didn't do. I can really use something to boost my spirit. Oh. I'm not that type of person anymore. <laughs> I don't believe that. I know. There's still a little girl who wanted to go on adventures through time and space. I was. But then you did this to me. And to Rory. And Elliot Pond. The girl who waited. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I wasn't there for you. You're right, Doctor. I forgive you. I'll always remember the night when you crashed into my house with the TARDIS. You told me about it and you showed me so much. But I think that the best part was when the whole universe was at ease. And when was that? When we had fish fingers and custard. <laughs> fish fingers and custard. Custard. You always knew how to cheer me up. Thank you, Amelia. I do miss you and Rory. We miss you, Raggedy Man. Now get up and fight. 
What? Get up, doctor. <sighs> Step away from him, Valerie. Master, what are you doing? We had a deal. Deal's off. But you're not the incarnation I made the deal with. We don't have time for this, alright? I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Isn't that enough? I guess so. There you guys are. What took you so long? Long story. Alright, well, we don't have time to mess around with the whole fabric of space and time that's falling apart. I had to kill the Valier in order to save his life. Now, can you please get this going? <laughs> Well, you are rather impatient for your own death, aren't you? If it gets me away from all of you, then it's worth it. Fine by me. All right, I need you to get down on your knees right here. Now, if I remember correctly, you're going to have to put all of your regeneration energy into that fountain until it consumes you completely. Splendid. Let's get this going, shall we? So quick to get over with. You guys should take some notes from this guy. Grim, I swear, one more crack from you, and you'll both be sacrificed. Now, shut up. Okay, so the rest of us need to aim our sonics toward the top of the fountain until he's fully gone. We only have one shot at this. Let's make sure we do it right. Right. Ready when you are. All doctors, activate your sonics and aim them toward the nearest speck of time. And activate. Great, Doctor. We don't have much time left. Time event stopped. Thank you, doctors. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Until next time, Doctor. If you ever need me, just give me a room. Is he really? I believe so. Can't believe it. The master was actually dead. He sacrificed everything to save us. I hate to admit it. I'm actually going to miss him. Yeah, you know, what he did was really brave. I don't think even I could do that. Well, it's because of him that we're alive. And that's one thing to honor, even if he was our sworn enemy. Agreed. Indeed. Well, I feel like our time here has been reduced to a few minutes before we both, or all, have to go to our own different timelines. Yes, you're correct. It's been an honor to see an old face again. It's always nice to see a new face once in a while, and one who has great taste in COVID. Let it go. Thank you for all that you've done. Although you do have some serious kinks to work out, I'm glad you could come. You're welcome. And a nice jacket, by the way. Rob looks good on you. Thanks. And, um, black looks great on you. <laughs> like I haven't put that one before. May your past be as good as I remember it. And may our future be bright. Alright, yeah, I'm up here. Yeah. Come on. Thank you.